Welcome back to another video. This is UK versus US Papa John's. Like more and let's get into it. Peace. From calorie counts to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between US and UK Papa John's. This is Food Wars. In the UK, our sizes start at small. Ours is 9.5 inches across, with a surface area of 71 square inches. Our small pizza comes in at 10 inches, which is 78.5 square inches of pizza. Next up we have our medium pizza. It's 11.5 inches across, with a surface area of 103.8 square inches. Our large, 14 inches, which is 153.9 square inches. Finally, for some reason we skip extra large and go straight to extra extra large. This one's 15.5 inches across, with a surface area of 188.7 square inches. We didn't skip the extra large. 16 inches right here, that's 201 square izzo's a pizzo. Our extra large is bigger than your extra extra large. In your face, Harry. In the UK, a small cheese pizza will cost you $11.99, which is around $15.54. That's a price per square inch of 21.8 cents. Small in the US, $9.49, which is about 12 cents per square inch. I know I got a small, but apparently they're also doing small peppers with the small pizzas. Look how small this is. Skimping on the peppers, eh, Papa? An XXL cheese pizza in the UK will cost you around $23.32, which is a price of 12.3 cents per square inch. USA's extra large, $15.49. That cannot be right. Sprinkle a little math on that. That's 7.7 .7 cents per square inch. That is so cheap. So what can we take away from this? Well, in both countries, the more pizza you buy, the cheaper it gets. In the US, the price per square inch of a small is 55% more than an extra large, and in the UK, it shoots up to a huge 77% more. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, that's how they get you. They pretty much are tricking you into getting more pizza because it's cheaper per square inch. So you're going, oh, I'll just get the extra large instead, and then a year later, you're fat. <laughs> Whoops, it was such a good deal. It is worth noting that paying full price is kind of rare in the UK. We got like a 40% off deal because we spent a certain amount of money. Basically, if you're paying full price in the UK, you're really not getting the best value for money. I'm on their website right now and it looks like, yeah, they have endless specials or deals for pretty much every combination you want to get. Large one topping pizza, any two sides, two large pizzas. I'm assuming what Papa John's does is have all types of deals and codes and promotions that whatever you get, when you order Papa John's, there's probably a deal for you. So you probably are never paying full price. In the UK, an extra extra large cheese pizza is cut into 12 slices. Each of these 12 slices is 268 calories, which brings the total to a whopping 3,218 calories. In the US, our extra large is cut into 10 slices. That means each slice is roughly 300 calories. And there is no possible way you're eating this pizza without the sauce. Whew. What about the most calorific thing on the menu? In the UK, it's a sausage and pepperoni pizza. Now for an XXL version of this pizza, each slice is 355 calories. That brings the total to 4,260 calories. In the US, if you're going for most calories, it's a tie between the meats pizza and the pepperoni, sausage, and three cheese pizza. This used to be John's favorite. They changed the name, they took his name off of it when he left. I wonder what happened to that guy. <laughs> Each pizza is roughly 410 calories per slice, and since it's 10 slices per pizza, that is a whopping 4,100 calories per pizza. Ha! Ah! So despite the average pizza sizes being smaller in the UK, the pizzas themselves are actually more calorific. Who knew? Now despite Papa John's motto being better ingredients, better pizza, they don't actually make their full ingredients list available in the UK. We did reach out to them to see if they'd make an exception for us, but at the time of shooting this, unfortunately we hadn't heard back. Now because we can't get the UK Papa John's ingredients list, we're gonna tweak this section a little bit. We're gonna compare the US Papa John's ingredients to another very popular fast food pizza chain, Domino's. Let's get Domino's dough ingredients on the screen. Okay. Now let's compare that with the Papa John's U.S. dough ingredients. Unbleached enriched wheat flour, water, sugar, soybean oil, salt, yeast. 
And that's it. How hilarious is that? See, doesn't need to be a whole chemistry lab. Okay, I gotta give Papa John's props. That's really great. They say fresher ingredients and they mean it. I like that. Here is everything you can only find on the menu at a UK Papa John's. And these are all the USA exclusive items you can get at Papa John's. Let's start with the pizzas. So in front of me, I have three pizzas and across these three, we've covered pretty much all of the items you can only find on the menu at a UK Papa John's. So what I have right in front of me here is a pizza with a butternut squash base. Now this is on the menu as a gluten-free alternative to traditional doughs. Then the pizzas outside of that, as you can see, have a stuffed crust, which is just the classic crust, but then folded over and filled with a kind of cheesy garlicky mix, which is really, really good. This right here is a pizza consisting of only the toppings and crust that you can get in the US. We have the Parmesan cheese, garlic crusted crust, crusted crust. Now from there, you can also customize the base sauce. So instead of the tomato sauce on this one, we have an Amarillo chili sauce. I was not aware of this until recently, but apparently at a Papa John's in the United States, you can substitute the tomato sauce for ranch. And I did exactly that, because there's nothing more American than ranch dressing. Papa John's in the UK actually offers quite a few vegetarian and vegan options. For example, again, on this pizza, instead of the classic mozzarella blend cheese, we have a vegan cheese, which is uh, a cheese alternative that's friendly for vegans. So in the UK, you can top your pizza with anchovies, with tuna, with tandoori chicken, with spicy beef, and also some fake meat alternatives such as vegan pepperoni, and also a vegan sausage. Finally, we have a couple of vegetarian toppings. For example, on this pizza, we have some red chilies, and on this pizza, we have feta cheese and sweet corn. Cheese, we did do the Parmesan Romano and the three cheese blend, which is provolone, fontana, fontania, fanta whatever, and Asiago cheeses. Salami, Canadian bacon, the Philly cheese steak stuff, spinach, and also, of course, banana peppers. I don't know what it is with banana peppers. They're suddenly on everything. I don't get it. All right, Ugh. here we go. All right, positive mental attitude, PMA, I'm about to have the USA only. No, I do not like that. I'll admit it's growing on me. I wouldn't pick the ranch sauce. I would stick with tomato. Being that bad. That's not good. <laughs> oh man, don't, don't order this. Don't order the UK-only pizza. Moving swiftly on from the UK-only pizza, here are some sides you can only find on the menu at a UK Papa John's. We've got some vegan cauliflower wings. Uh, it's basically just small pieces of cauliflower that are breaded and fried, and then you can kind of dip them in a sauce of your choice. It's just a nice chicken wing alternative for vegetarians. Here we've got some chicken poppers. Now, I think these are available in the US, but the one that's exclusive to the UK is the tandoori chicken spice one which is just pieces of chicken breaded and fried with an Indian spice blend. Here we got some tater tots, which I'm surprised you guys can't get in the US because these aren't really a thing in the UK. But here we can get tater tots, you can get them with cheese like we have here, or you can also get them with cheese and bacon. And then finally, again, surprising you don't have these in the US, these are some jalapeno poppers, just kind of mini jalapenos breaded, fried with some cheese inside. Now I'm super excited to try these. These are Marmite scrolls. Uh, what it is is kind of pieces of dough rolled up uh, with some cheese and some Marmite in the middle of them. Now, Joe, if you've never had Marmite, it sounds gross because it's actually... Harry, yes, I actually, in fact, have had Marmite. It was a while ago in college. I lived briefly with a British guy. He had a jar of it. I did try it once. I don't remember exactly how it tasted, but I do recall comparing it to the taste of vomit. So suffice to say, I'm in the not fan of Marmite category. So far, the Papa John's sides game is pretty strong. Now for wings, we have a honey chipotle wing sauce. Garlic knots. Oh man. Ugh! Dude! This thing is drenched in their butter. I'm confused by this next USA only thing. It is called a papadilla. I mean, it's a calzone, but for some reason they're calling it a papadilla, which I assume is a playoff of quesadilla. Yeah, look. They just... It's just, it's just a pizza that they cut and fold it over, right? Moving on. These look good. These look right up my alley. These are the uh, jalapeno papa rolls and ranch. 
forgot, we also got breadsticks. Here are some US exclusive sauces. Spicy garlic, ranch, of course. Honey mustard, blue cheese, regular cheese. And you can also get, big surprise, a side of banana peppers. Also, side of jalapenos. And I was as surprised as anyone to see, also in the US, you can get these, side of anchovies. Finally, for those of you with a sweet tooth, Papa John's in the UK has a few exclusive desserts. We have some chocolate scrolls on my right and some cinnamon scrolls on my left. And then finally, we have some Ben & Jerry's. Papa John's in the UK is kind of like a Ben & Jerry's licensed vendor, which is quite cool. And then also, we can get some milkshakes here, which are a brand called For Real, and they're not bad. And for dessert, the one thing we got that you don't have UK, cinnamon pull-aparts. Again, apologies, it's been sitting for a while. Dude, yes to this. I guess I'm If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get to 600 subscribers by the end of January. Anyway, there's two videos on the screen, so click on to watch more. Peace.